I'm Dr. Jacobson. I'm a chair and, P, uh, chair and professor of pediatrics at Mayo Clinic. I'd like to talk today with you about how you might prevent side effects from vaccination. Parents are frequently concerned uh, that we're giving a lot of vaccines to a very young child. Uh, sh what should they be concerned about? What should they be watching for? In fact, we monitor vaccine safety very carefully, both before the vaccines are licensed as well as afterward. Before they're licensed, they're tested in thousands to tens of thousands of children so that we can carefully eliminate vaccines that are associated with uh, a serious adverse effect events. After the vaccine is licensed, and as we give them to millions of children, uh, we continue to monitor them very closely for both rare concerns as well as for common concerns. And here's what we learned. Vaccines only rarely cause allergic reactions. And the best way to make sure your child doesn't suffer an allergic reaction is to particularly watch the child carefully for the first 15 to 30 minutes for any evidence of a serious allergic reaction, such as hives or wheezing. Hives are large, red, itchy patches. Wheezing is a whistling sound when the child breathes out. But I'm telling you, these are very rare on the order of one to 10,000. And in general, just being with your child after vaccination for the next 15, 30 minutes will rule out a serious allergic reaction. Secondly, we know these vaccines are stimulating the immune system. And one of the ways the body reflects that stimulation is through a fever or through a large red reaction where the vaccine was given. These don't happen. Uh, in every vaccination, but they can alarm a parent. You can take steps to prevent those with the vaccines more likely to cause it by listening to your physician or nurse as to when you should consider giving a dose of acetaminophen, often sold as Tylenol, or ibuprofen, sold as Motrin or Advil, to prevent side effects such as a fever or soreness at the injection site. Uh, you can uh, discuss with your nurse or physician the, the dose appropriate for your child's age. Uh, usually, a dose of acetaminophen at the time of vaccination, four hours later and eight hours later, will prevent a risk of a fever or a sore limb from vaccination, um, which otherwise would resolve within a day or so anyway. It's not necessary, but might make you feel more comfortable that you're managing the side effects that commonly occur with vaccination. Now, in the older children, we do see fainting occasionally, particularly as a child's going through the adolescent growth spurt. Fainting is a common reaction to both blood draws and to vaccination. You should inform the, uh, the, the teenager of the possibility of a risk, encourage the, the person to put their head down and their feet up if they do feel faint at all. Physicians and nurses now, when giving adolescents vaccinations, encourage the families to wait 15 or 30 minutes in the office after vaccination and to report any fainting symptoms.